gently smooth. What else can help whiten my teeth? I recommend what is known as in-house bleaching to anyone who wants whiter teeth. This takes place in a dentist's practice after a professional cleaning. It lasts an hour to an hour and a half and leaves you with visibly whiter teeth after just one session. The downside is that sometimes teeth are sensitive for a while afterward. Another version of this treatment is having impressions of your teeth taken after a professional cleaning, which are then used to create bleaching rails. These can be brushed with a whitening agent and worn at home, for example, at night. It takes around two weeks to reach the desired result. The advantage is that you can re-bleach your teeth whenever you feel like it, without having to go to the dentist's. The downside is that teeth react sensitively to red wine, coffee, and green tea during the treatment period, which is why it should be used sparingly. It's also important to make sure that only natural tooth substance is whitened, as opposed to crowns or fillings, so there can sometimes be differences between fillings and teeth after bleaching. If carried out incorrectly, bleaching can therefore damage the enamel and is therefore best left to professional hands. It's best to steer clear of home remedies such as baking soda with lemon or whitening strips. I have sensitive teeth. What can I do about it? One product you can use for sensitive teeth is tooth mousse, a fluoride-free paste low in chemicals with mineral components. However, it can be difficult to apply. In any case, it's better to solve the problem through nutrition. Sensitive teeth are a sign of mineral and micronutrient deficiencies, especially vitamin D3. I have implants and bridges. Is regular brushing enough to maintain them? Any type of dentures requires a bit more care than regular teeth. The most important thing to remember is to have your teeth professionally cleaned more than twice a year. I don't just want to have my teeth repaired and my overall health is important to me. Which type of dentist should I see? Conventional dentistry still pays too little attention to the overall health of patients. This is why I currently only recommend dentists who are specially trained in biological dentistry. These dentists always think of the organism as a whole when devising a treatment approach. But isn't all this very expensive? Most services offered in biological dentistry are not covered by health insurance, so patients have to pay for them. Investing money in our health, and especially in the prevention of illnesses, is difficult for many people. Yet we are almost all willing to spend money if we are ill and have a chance of recovering. Sometimes we have to decide what to spend money on, the next holiday, an expensive smartphone, or our health. If health is your number one priority, you can always find a way. People who are struggling financially can also start gradually. First, have all the metals removed from your mouth, which often brings great relief to the whole body. I'm really terrified of going to the dentist. Dentists work in a very delicate and sensitive area, but today we have the option to make any treatment virtually painless. Since I started working as a biological dentist, all of my patients look forward to their appointments because they know they will finally be able to get to the bottom of their problems and find a solution, which they have sometimes waited a long time for. The focus is clearly on health. In the future, I would very much like all patients to be happy to visit the dentist, knowing that we can help them to improve or regain their health.